as you can see here I've managed to put the whole project onto one four layer PCB the size of an Arduino Uno and indeed underneath it, I don't know if we can see that, there is actually an Arduino Uno controlling it. Uh, but just before we get too carried away with uh, testing or demonstrating the uh, machine working, I'm going to um, go and look at the um, outside aerial. I've upgraded the outside aerial. So let's, uh, let's go and have a, a look outside up the ladder. It's made a uh, considerable improvement to the um, whole workings of the thing. So if I just go up here and uh, so look, it's quite high off the ground. <laughs> there it is. Do you want a different thing? There she is. So that's about um, what, 20 foot off the ground on a 15 meter high performance cable. Uh, I've calculated that the some of the losses in the cable itself is three decibels and according to the specifications of the, the antenna it's actually six decibels so overall a gain of three decibels. All right let's go back to the laboratory. We're back in the lab again. Uh, yes that um, external antenna has made a huge difference to, to the project. Uh, it's actually a, I think it's a logarithmic Yagi aerial and uh, yeah the decibels um, level on this uh, on the input here which is this this cable here is um, quite a lot bigger than it was in the last test that I did and um, just quick looking briefly at this um, gadget we've got two push buttons here and now these control um, this low noise amplifier here. This um, amplifier has uh, two stages in it. It's quite um, quite neat actually. Let's just have a look through the magnifying glass because um, we can get some nice, uh, a nice view through here. I think. There it goes. So I've actually hacked into the um, circuit here with this antenna connection. So if I just very carefully, we're, we're using this connection here through a zero ohm resistor there. Uh, this funny looking black wire. Um, I put in because I uh, actually the only thing wrong with this board was um, there's no connection uh, here, which is what this wire's doing. It looks a bit untidy, but it's okay. And we're not actually using this chip at all at the moment. This other one, which is a variable gain amplifier, I found with the upgraded antenna that um, on receiving the signal from the base station. don't actually need it. We're going to need it at a future stage in the project uh, to actually start transmitting a signal from the mobile phone to the base station but at the moment don't actually need that functionality certainly not where, where I live anyway. So all we need is this part of the circuit, this two-stage low noise amplifier and uh, like I said, these uh, push buttons here, they control the amplifier. So if I, would, if I just want one stage, just move that out of the way. Just one stage, I, I press the left hand button. If I want um, both stages, I push the right hand button. If I want to turn the whole thing off, I push both, both buttons simultaneously. So at the moment, I've got it working on uh, low power. And uh, if we look over at my phone, we are displaying the power. Uh, we've got three bars at minus 102 decibels. 
So this is the same kind of test rig as I've been using all along for the last couple of weeks with uh, a little plate and antenna down here so it's quite close to the phone. This is quite handy, uh, I've got three bars, it's quite nice, the phone's nice and close to the antenna um, and the machine here, this, this device is working at reasonably low power. So uh, yeah again when not using the variable gain amplifier at the moment, so this slider isn't actually doing anything. Um, so look over here, here we have our SDR monitor working as a spectrum analyzer. See the lines are nice and tidy, there's no horizontal lines, there's no shift going from left to right. So it's all looking pretty linear and um, nice and steady. So if we then come back here and press the right hand button, you should see a dramatic change. Oh, I've got to press and hold it. There we go. So looking over on the spectrum analyzer, we've got a very large change in intensity there and if we look at the phone we've got minus 81 decibels and 5 bars on the phone this is the um, best results I've ever had uh, a lot of this is to do with the antenna upgrade that we looked at earlier. That's why I kind of started with that at the beginning because it's so important. So you know you could spend a lot of money and time developing this bit of kit, but if your antenna is no good, then uh, it's um, time wasted. So lastly, if we want to turn the gadget off, just press these two buttons here simultaneously my two fingers hopefully if I can just press them together there we go so yeah spectrum analyzer starting to see blank space as the signal has weakened substantially so it was on minus 85 decibels I think and now the phone has gone to minus 120 so that's um, 35 decibels dBm change. Uh, that's um, quite substantial. I'm really pleased with that. And also with this um, new rig, I can actually take the phone and I can move the phone um, about 10 meters away. So it's got a range. I can move around the house, go to different rooms, and still get pretty good signal not five bars but okay so 10 meters away it goes down to three bars or two bars but it means I've got like, really good coverage now as well so yeah I'm really pleased with this it's um, working nicely and the um, heat exchanger is not getting too hot you can kind of touch it so the power supply uh, is also working quite well so, onwards and upwards, it can only get better.